There were two main reasons why I decided to do this video. The first was to reply to those who honestly want to know whether or not abortion should be legal in the context of rape. The second was to respond, in a way, to those who write comments on my other video saying, I hope that this girl gets raped. That way she'll be able to fully understand the topic that she's talking about. Firstly, wishing someone to get raped completely goes against the pro-woman stance that many pro-choice advocates claim to have. But secondly, and most importantly, just because someone hasn't experienced something, it doesn't mean that they can't know whether that thing is right or wrong. For example, most people will never experience hunger so intense that they want to eat their children. But they still know that eating human beings is wrong, even to satisfy extreme hunger. They don't need to have experienced it to know that it's not the right solution. So even though I've never been raped, I still know that abortion is not the right solution. Taking the lives of an innocent human being is never the right solution. Even though that child was conceived through rape, doesn't take away his or her humanity, personhood, or the intrinsic value that their life possesses. I won't say that I have all the answers. I don't. But I will say that, as a society, we need to rethink the answer that we're offering to rape victims. And in our conversations about what we can do to help rape victims, we can't lose sight of the rights of another important person in the equation, the unborn child.